Hey gang, today we're testing the fuel pressure on the GM TBI system. Two basic things we need right here. Other stuff you probably got laying around. So let's go after the break. Okay, y'all, here's the fuel filter that's on the frame, driver's side, right under the passenger door. And these are things we gotta take loose. These are fuel lines. We need something to hold the big the big nut, which is the fuel filter, and we have something that's to break it free. Pay our pliers, vice grips, whatever you got. And it's gonna be fuel shooting out of it, so just be careful, wear gloves if you like. Have your pan to catch the gas. Don't breathe in no fumes. Let's let it just drain. Pop that plastic piece loose. Now pop out your fuel filter. When the time comes, that looks real messy there. Oh yeah, welcome to slide it on forward. Fuel look pretty clean coming out, so that's good. But this one I basically let the camera just run. Wasn't that long. Like a three, four minute video anyway. Okay, the attachment we got in place. It's online, forgot the name of it. Fuel pressure tester, GM, TBI, whatever you want to call it. It didn't cost that much online. Alright, we just hook up our um, fuel pressure tester to it. We have somebody crank the engine. I think the pressure for this is between 9 and 13 PSI. Yeah, it's real low, but it definitely needs it. The truck will run real crap. It'll bog down at crazy. Sometimes you don't know what it is because you ain't think it's a fuel pump. Okay. I think we had 11 PSI. Yeah, we're waiting for the truck to stabilize and run. There we go. We have to wait for the fuel pressure to build back up. We got another look at it. Oh, that's real good. Yeah, I think we got it at 11. Okay, we're going to take this off. See what we did there. Um, fuel filter. Trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time, but as you see, it's pretty simple. Let's loosen it up. Let's take your fingers and just unloosen it. Of course, you're gonna have gas coming out again. Ain't no big deal. It's part of the job. Don't be scared to get your hands dirty. Okay. And since we got it out, and we're already down here, we're gonna replace this with a brand new fuel filter. And again, since um, Advanced Ball Car Quest, we got a Car Quest part, parts better anyway. We'll just put a slide it on there to the um, plastic clamp, put our lines on them, get it pretty tight, tight as we can with our fingers. Then we take our tools and tighten it up real snug. And I think the line moved out of that, so I'm about to put that back in. Got our vice grips on our um, fuel filter. Use our crescent wrench on the fuel line. Somebody keeps texting me. Tighten up the side side. We tighten up the side going to the TBI. It's also a piece you can buy to put on TBI to, um, that has a service port on it. And it comes from the fuel tank. You can buy it and leave it on there permanently. Some of them even got a fuel pressure gauge made onto it. 
that's it have a good day subscribe like comment see you later